Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to Game Show Games, Scott the Waz by Scott the Waz. Now, for those who don't know, I am actually a big fan of game shows. I watch them regularly. Uh, every single time there's a new episode, I will watch it. I am a big fan of a ton of game shows. Some I don't really like. For example, I'm not a big fan of Press Your Luck. I don't really like luck-based game shows. Holy Moly is a new one that I guess looks interesting. I mean, they're self-aware of what they're doing. But, like, you know, it's kind of, it's just kind of wipe out with golf, in my opinion. That's really all I see it as. But, yeah, there are a ton of good ones that are on recently. For example, my favorite one being The Hustler. That game show is really good. Honestly, it's probably one of my favorite game shows just because of how the game actually works and just how genius it is. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, original team, make sure you subscribe to Scott the Wazing. So let's search and let's get right into it. And we're back with Say That Answer. Is that Connor Eats Pants? Dollars. What city Pass. is best known for entertainment? South Carolina. Besides Hollywood. Some city. South America. Is that Connor Eats hey, Pants? I'm an idiot. So you watch all these game shows and you think you have what it takes to make it big. Then they happen to ask the one question you didn't write on your skin. This isn't over. I'm going back on Say That <laughs> Answer. This time, I'll be prepared. Oh yeah, Family Feud. Yeah, obviously. The obvious. Probably the most popular one. Do anything about it. Oh yeah, and then Wheel of Fortune. Fucking genius. Game shows are the cornerstone of lazy consumable entertainment. Watching contestants from an audience come up on stage and make themselves look like an idiot. I can True. do better than them. Obviously, most game shows have to do with contestants answering trivia questions. That makes them enjoyable to watch at home because then you can play along. But have you ever wanted to be a right. actual Agreed. game show? I have. That's why most major game shows get video game adaptations. Oh yeah. Of course, there were board games, books. There yeah, Wheel of Fortune, kind of Jeopardy, Price is Right. Shows, but video games offered the most realistic experience. You got the visuals, the sounds, the hosts, all of this adding up to giving you the illusion Pat Sajak exists. Of course, if I want to actually True. win at an actual game show, I can't think of a better way to prep than to play game show games. I'll finally find out what trivia was in 1989. This is Jeopardy on the NES. See, I always use outdated sources yeah, of while studying. Yeah, Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune are still going and they're very old three states jeopardy is your typical trivia game show but it's backwards it took me an embarrassing amount of time to realize the questions being asked here are actually answers and your answers are actually questions That's yeah those are me say what is and who is before their answer it's a good thing i learned that before going on a different game show for the second time jeopardy on the nes <laughs> was developed by rare they of course made donkey kong country banjo kazooie rareware made before jeopardy all of that, they said dear god let's work on something else number of players one skill level if there was a four i'd hit it versus computer yes please and now for my name you know jeopardy was created by merv griffin it was produced by merv griffin enterprises i'll be merv griffin home field advantage of course only merv griffins but at least we have a healthy selection of characters to shuffle through so this is how god made humanity we're up against larry we're up against sandy they're up against death they're up against death okay so categories i get to pick the first one. Oh, oh fishy names fishy names i'm an expert on this stuff Former FCC chairman called TD of Vast Wasteland. Uh, Alright, so I'll buzz in and figure out the answer as I type. You have to type your entire answer in, and there's a time limit, so if you just want to okay. let me snick it, you better be a quick typer. Ooh. Oh my god, how could Jeopardy be wrong? Well, now Larry's deciding to chime in. Oh! Uh. <laughs> what? Okay, good. If I got that one right, I would not know what to do with this degree. All right, this tiny, short-haired dog is originally from Mexico. Easy, Chihuahua. I forget how to spell it, so hopefully they'll get the gist. I really only know fishy names. Larry, what do you got? All right, uh, this is f***ing ridiculous. I'm getting shafted. Larry's just lost it. Sandy's not doing a damn thing. Half of this is better than none glass of water. But I'm right! You know, if I want to get as good at Wait, this what? knowledge thing as possible, I need to play multiple games at once. So while we have Jeopardy for the NES going, let's play Family Feud on the Super Nintendo. Family Feud is the best game show. You have to try and guess what a group of people answered in a survey. <laughs> yeah, and why does I disagree about that, but I mean, it's, it's definitely the most popular one. Mind. With Family Feud as NES, I'm not looking to be seen next to another Larry. I'd rather challenge myself. We'll plug in two controllers. I'm playing as the Kevin family, who's up against the Dan family. All right, name something you take from room to room. A cat! 
back to Jeopardy. Oh, look at Larry using an ampersand in his Jeopardy answer. Now I have some standards to live up to. One who has full membership in a state or nation. Me? A carnival performer who bites the heads off of live chickens. Oh, it's really quite obvious. <gasps> oh, that's right. Larry knows all about this. What is a geek? I really need to reevaluate what I am. Back to Family Feud. What? If you had four extra hours a day, what would you do? Elope. Not elope. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Family Feud SNES. Well, that's a good sign to expand to Wheel of Fortune. You can't what? Have Jeopardy without Wheel of Fortune. Family? Products of Merv Griffin, Merv Griffin. Yeah, Wheel Sparks. of Fortune. It's all about spinning a wheel for dollar amounts and trying to figure out what saying or word is on the board. Pretty much, if a Jeopardy it was, like Game was available Boy? on a console, a Wheel of Fortune one would be there, too. So, just for a bit more variety, let's try Wheel of Fortune on PlayStation 2. Okay. This menu's background's making me sick. <laughs> all right, let's spin the wheel. Agreed. Bankrupt. Too bad. Oh! I guess it could have been worse. Yeah, if I die. <laughs> Mineral water. No. We're going back to Jeopardy. She what? No I, I mean, I think it's kind of cool that they actually have like oh, live video, but I don't know. Damn it, Sandy. Oh. She stole my answer. <laughs> On to Double Jeopardy, where we have brand new categories with even scarier prices. Feathered friends going for a thousand. I know everything about this. I should have remembered Larry does too. Crime and punishment for a thousand. <laughs> Though defended by this famous lawyer, Leopold and Lode were convicted of kidnapping and murder. Larry. Of course he would know. This band yeah. leader married his vocalist Harriet Hilliard. Larry? Oh, never mind. Pass. Alright, so we're in final Pass. Jeopardy on Jeopardy for NES, and my earnings so far. I can make up for in the final round. On the final Jeopardy, in which Merv has no winnings and cannot take part in. Well, I'll live to see this screen. Larry's the winner. Wasn't fun. Name something... Milk. That comes in a spray can. Milk again. Milk <laughs> again. <laughs> what does a woman say when a man proposes? I'll think about it. Ask again later. I don't know, can you? I'm I don't know, can you? Who are you? Might as well check out the other Jeopardy. <laughs> That's There's really Jeopardy good. Jeopardy, I don't know. Including you. Jeopardy Junior Edition. I'll it's stick funny. with Merv Griffin, but downgrade him to Merv Junior. Yeah, this is the same thing as last time, but now with more kid-oriented questions. Another name for an asphalt road surface? Road. Road. This special bike has only one wheel. A really bad car. No. This is the president's home. I actually knew that answer. These are the exact same I also knew that answer. Yeah, that's Coming easy. To Jeopardy 25th Anniversary Edition. Oh my god, 25. That's so old. We're old Merv. Old Merv. It's the same game. Yes, the abbreviation for neighborhoods. Neborhoods. You know, who wants to be a millionaire second edition for the Oh yeah, I forgot that game like that. existed. You know, this game was published by Sony themselves. That must mean they really believed in this title. I mean, why wouldn't you? Huh? 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 On closer inspection, I swear I own this game for PC way back in the day i played a ton of this may not be the best material to practice with for future game shows most of these questions are probably lodged in the back of my skull somewhere but no harm in trying again home field advantage they ask for a name what else would i choose millionaire type in your name i should probably check to see if i spell millionaire right oh come on you do know your name don't you fine how about this name what well, I'm not gonna do that on Say That Answer. Who ran for president? What? Didn't Becky run? <laughs> oh, my buddy Ed. He definitely... Me. I would like to announce I am... <laughs> Super Jeopardy was also released on the NES. This one wasn't along the same lines as the previous three. These were developed by Ray. My this buddy was Ed. a nightmare. It talks. So here are our contestants. Is oh. this a newspaper political cartoon? Yeah, it's still Jeopardy, but the older versions, in my opinion, are better. You see, for some reason, the color palettes and format they chose for Super Jeopardy just aren't as appealing to the eyes, and it's honestly a bit harder to read. And the digitized speech is just here to put oh. on the label. It's not like they read the questions to you. It all just adds up to Larry Jeopardy being the best one. I was super Merv here. All right, a <laughs> thing. Million R is the third letter in the word. I like how he's just kind of going back and forth between the game shows. Bony. Card Banco. Park Bench. Okay, come on. First question on who wants to be a millionaire? Okay, well, I'll phone a friend. She thinks it's me. You should probably ask the audience to be sure. <laughs> Narrow it down 50 50. Well, the audience says it's A, but you know, I never trusted this audience. 
Zero. I didn't want to see the second question anyways. Who needs it? Besides Hollywood, <laughs> what what city is known for entertainment? Oh my god. Th this was the question that messed me up on the game show. Hollywood. Besides Hollywood, okay. Not Hollywood and not South Carolina. That was pure instincts typing that in. Okay. Not South America. I'm really disappointed in myself. Okay. A city known for entertainment. Circuit City. Am I wrong? Name an entertainer. Dang. Ha. Dilbert, he's hilarious. <laughs> oh. Uh, name an entertainer who has been around for as long as you can remember. Yeah, Dilbert. <laughs> yeah, Dilbert. It's funny you can just type in random random answers. Jeopardy made the jump to the PlayStation 2, right alongside Wheel of Fortune, and these games share roughly the same format of menus and cutscenes. Just a heads up, do not write years out in letters and then finish them off with numbers. They don't accept that. This type of abandoned town features 170 buildings. Oh, oh, Fort Wario! Wasn't in Wheel of Fortune, has to be here. Regrettably, no. <laughs> I wish. If you don't know what this Greek sea god also created the horse, say nay. No, sorry. What was I supposed to say? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. The presidential election. Take a look at your monitor. Alex Trebek. Hey, guys named Gary for 800. Uh, Bob Gary. Saget. No, that's not right. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's right. Guys named Gary. Gary Bob Saget. Name something that's... <laughs> Snake. Snake! What's the first thing you open when you... The womb. What's the first thing what? you when you come home at night? Jars? Car door. My mouth. What are the answers? My mouth. I said door! Name a place where people wear white. Me. Name a nursery rhyme that has old in it. Holy Bible. Name something white. Why? Name something. Okay. Name something people buy secondhand. Dude, imagine if somebody did this on the game Jeopardy show. That'd be Wii. hilarious. This was released in tandem with Wheel of Fortune. Surprise. Oh yeah, the but Wii these games ones. Did a phenomenal job replicating the source material. Uh, sure, the hosts look like they drank expired water, but the words <laughs> and sounds are perfect. Compared yeah, I agree. Jeopardy on the Nintendo Switch. Like, yeah, it's a fine trivia game, but this doesn't look like Jeopardy. They have so many different original animations, and the narrator isn't the same as the show. It doesn't feel like Jeopardy. You can say, oh, but the Switch version is more original. It has its own identity. But when I'm by in a game called Jeopardy, I expect it to look and sound like Jeopardy. There's something to be said about being original, but this just doesn't feel right. I prefer the lazier, not original look of the Wii games because they look like the shows. Nobody cares about Jeopardy Switch's feelings. I mean, even the PS2 True. games did a good job replicating the shows. Though, why does Wheel of Fortune on PS2 use the Price is Right font in-game? Well, that's a good sign to try out the Price is Right on Wii. This game oh, yeah, I actually right played this game. Product shown. See, if the Price is Right, you know what else is? Me. I had a billiards table. I'll go techno. Twelve dollars. All right, so now it's time to play Plinko. I just have to drop this puck and I see. Plinko. Oh, 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 oh! I did it! I'm a genius. I'm ready to go back and say that answer. For ten thousand dollars. It's Connor. Second question: Who wants to be a millionaire? Second edition for PlayStation One. <laughs> he didn't know. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. Honestly, yeah. Honestly. Good video. Very entertaining. I love the how it's just kind of all over the place in this one because it has like sort of a unique style. So I like how it just goes from like one game to the other. Yeah, this was honestly enjoyable. I thought it was very funny. And yeah, the editing was really good. The comedy was very funny. It was very quick-witted and well-delivered. I thought this was really funny. I also kind of like how there's just sort of a plot with this one where, you know, I, I mean kind of where he's actually playing board, uh, game show games to get better than actual game show, featuring Connor Eats Pants, by the way. But, uh, yeah, honestly, actually a good video. I actually really did enjoy it. Uh, this was a very good video. But yeah, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the like, music, and subscribe, and see you next one. Bye!